Well, the reason I came to Aberyst with all the way from Norway is because it's the oldest department for international politics. It's the founding seat. So it has a lot of experience and a lot of very good lecturers and researchers. The five in this department is like absolutely amazing. Everybody is so friendly to one another. The, lecture, the lecturers themselves and the students, there is, there's no hierarchy, I would say. Everybody's on the same level. A lot of lectures because obviously you've got such a wide range of modules. Um, a lot of lectures are interesting just because you can choose what you want to do precisely and you can go according to your own interests, obviously. Lecturers tend to email you, depending on like which organisation it is, um, applications for internships and job opportunities. Then we can apply and think of our future very much ahead of where we are now. So they really true try to give you some sort of relevant experience if you want to get into politics and uh, it's the most flexible way they can do it, I think. The only thing we have that sort of resembles a field trip, I'd say, are the crisis games, which happen in late November, early December. And so you take current affairs, like, um, I don't know, we just did the China Seas crisis. So you take the role of a country and then you're given all these problems to solve in like a few hours. You can get a sense of how do politicians interact in a crisis environment and what rationalises their decisions. And I think that Aberystwyth, because it's such a great community, you feel like, yes, I can self-develop, I can excel in my grades, and I can do like basically everything that I want to achieve. There's a lovely environment around us, there's great people from all over the world, and you really get a nice setting to both have fun and develop academically.